this is a flashlight. And if you're going someplace that you know is going to be dark, you're going to want to take one of these along. For example, if you go camping and you know that you're going someplace that doesn't have electric lights, you're going to want a flashlight when the sun goes down, for sure. Or if you're looking for something um, like underneath a, a table or a couch or your bed, maybe your shoe or, or a toy, um, it's really helpful to have a flashlight to shine a little light uh, on the subject, so to speak. Uh, how many of you, when the hurricane went by, lost power for a time? Flashlights are really helpful to have when you lose power in a storm. Um, so flashlights, very important. But you know, God wants us to be lights. Not lights like this that have a bulb, but a different kind of light. And Jesus talked about that. And we can read about it in Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Let's do it. Jesus says, You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lamp stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. So you see, God wants us to use our good words and our good actions together to shine the light of Christ to the world. If people see that you are a good and faithful person, they're going to wonder, you know, what, what makes you that way? And that's how we shine the light, because we tell them that Jesus makes us this way. Knowing Jesus makes us this way. And what happens to the darkness when even just a little light is shining? Yeah, the, the darkness goes away, doesn't it? And the light can show the way out. And some people, kids, some people, they live in a dark place, a dark place in their hearts and their minds because, because you know, they don't know Jesus and they don't know the joy and the peace and the hope, the love and the forgiveness that God offers us, just offers us freely um, through the gift of his son, Jesus Christ. But if we, if we come near them and we live life with them, we can shine light into their darkness, just like this flashlight lights up a dark night. And the cool thing is that God provides the light, never any power shortage or anything cut off, and, um, and he'll help us. He'll help us shine our lights. This week you ask him to help you shine your light in the place that really needs it. Help him, help us, um, he'll help us to, to see those dark places. So walk in the light, and be the light to a world that really needs it. Love you. Have a great week.